Hello everyone, it is of course your one and only Gaming Weasel with the Nidus slash Nidus Prime build video. If you want to play a long endurance survival mission solo in Steel Path, this is the Warframe of choice. In my honest opinion, the best survival Warframe out there. Yes, I'm putting it out there right at the beginning of the video. Octavia is good, Korra is good, Oberon is decent, Revenant is amazing as well, but for me... Nidus doesn't only take the cake, he steals it from the party and literally just devours it without any care in the world. Uh, the Warframe, uh, of course, is, is pretty easy to obtain, especially the Prime version. Uh, the the non-Prime version is a little bit difficult, but if you do get your hands on it, continue watching this video. And if you don't, definitely get it after this video. Before we actually start, I didn't know if you actually knew, but only 2% of you guys are actually subscribed, so, you know, if we can bring that number up, it would be greatly appreciated by me. It, um, increase that weasel family. Now, right off the bat, the build is like this. Steel charge for the aura, power drift for the augmented for this exilus slot, blind rage, teeming virulence, I'll explain that in a second, stretch, adaptation, flow, umbral intensify, vitality, and fiber respectively. Arcanes, we have Molt Augmented and Arcane, Arcane Primary Charger. Uh, this can be switched up depending on what you want to really play and use. I love these two because they are really, really good and I'll explain why Molt Augmented is going to be a very, very good thing to have. So, Steel Charge can be changed for Rifle Amp if you want that, that is going to be very good. Uh, of course, Flow for the Prime variant. Um, you could put a little bit more range, uh, so instead of Power Drift, put uh, Cunning Drift. But honestly, I love the build as is, and I'll explain why. So, in the build, the video I'm using, of course... And the build that you see on the screen. And I'm also using the Kuva Brahma. And you are maybe saying that I'm red critting literally every single thing that is appearing on the screen. A little bit later down the line, you're gonna see me literally one shot the acolyte like he was like he was here, then he wasn't here. So the teaming virulence augment. If you hit four enemies with virulence, which is his first ability, first ability, it will grant you 120% primary uh weapon critical chance for 15 seconds. Now, this depends on your power strength uh mine is 306 so that means i'm gonna be getting a total teaming virulence boost of 367 percent critical chance now if we count uh in of course uh the well, molt augmented uh, with 60 percent power strength at maximum stacks we have a 439 percent critical chance so basically even if you were to put a non-critical weapon, you know, for example, the Provost of Cernos, it is basically going to crit every single time. I love this build. I have been using this build ever since I got Nidus Prime and a little bit uh, with Nidus as well. But, you know, when I started using Nidus a little bit more, then Nidus Prime kind of came out, so I started using him more. But this is simply amazing. Uh, I... Uh, have personally the longest that I've lasted with Nidus in a solo mission was I think one hour and 20 minutes and that was just because I had to go and get something done otherwise I could have stayed even more but this Warframe is simply amazing I love Octavia and I understand why people love her but honestly pressing four abilities every like 40 seconds and then crouching a little bit is not gameplay for me that's just annoying uh, and I do not like it at all. Uh, of course, the wiki page for Nidus will be down below. I don't want to really stretch this video out too much. But his ability is basically first ability. You get yourself stacks. Uh, and of course, uh, you do damage to enemies. It's stacks are basically used as instead of energy for crafting abilities. And these stacks, if you basically get critically damaged or get a face fatal hit, uh, you basically use up 10 stacks to revive yourself. So... Yeah, undying literally to the max. This Warframe cannot die. And as long as you have 10 stacks, you're not going to die. It's not like Wukong where you die three times and it's over. And then the fourth time you literally die, die. With Nidus, it is basically infinite numbers uh, of times of revival. So 
Yeah, basically, Nidus Prime, an amazing Warframe, a must-have Warframe if you plan to, you know, play survival missions solo, and even, uh, it doesn't really have to be, you know, Steel Path, it could be any sort of mission, uh, that, you know, survival-based, or I guess endurance-based, but 99% I would definitely recommend survival. Uh, he is also amazing at some tasks as well, where you need to crowd control because of his larva, basically just put in max range and then you're done, uh, but... Nonetheless, that is a must-have Warframe, and if you get the chance, definitely pick him up. He's really, really amazing, really great ability set, and a must-have for every single Warframe player. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, do leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more, and I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.